Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale, this channel is Flippin' Fiasco. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace, and that is what my channel is about. So if that kind of content interests you, please hit that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be sort of an unboxing. I had the best intentions of doing a legit unboxing of two, what are they called? designer DIY boxes from ThreadUp. They're seven pieces for $120 of designer things. But my boxes came and I was so darn excited that I opened them right away. My dogs are of course playing as soon as I start filming. So yes, I was so excited that I opened them right away and started like researching them and then I don't remember what was in what box. They were both from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, I think. Pretty sure. Um, but I, I've just gotta be honest, I, I've already looked at the items and now I don't remember which is which. So you're going to see all 14 pieces in this video. My hope was that I would have more information to put in this video about like what the brands are worth and that, but I haven't even looked them up yet and it's high time that I've shared this uh, unboxing with you. So the first item, I will confess, I already even um, like conditioned this and tried cleaning it up a little bit. So it's obviously a purse with a crossbody strap and the brand, which I'm not familiar with, I have it stuffed right now for photos, um, is Claire Vivier, Vivier, Vivier. No. And what does it say underneath it? Just new. Oh, Los Angeles. So, um, it's in pretty good condition. You know, it is worn. Um, so I guess that is where the DIY comes into play. But I mean, honestly, like the leather isn't terrible. It's a little bit, um, like worn discolored, like discolored worn. Um, I guess that like that corner does have some significant wearing. So, but nothing that's so awful that I'm like, oh, by the way, this bag has a hole in it. You know, nothing, nothing that awful. Um, oh, I have some orders that I have to ship out. Esme, this is one of the necklaces. Michelle, this is for you. <laughs> um, okay, there was this pair of sunglasses. They are a little bit scratched up. Um, yeah, they're, they're a little scratched up. They are, I don't know if you can see it there, Tom Ford. So, and I, I don't really know what Tom Ford sunglasses go for, but I have a pair to research and look up. There is this Prada wallet, uh, which has seen better days. Here's the inside. I mean, it's just, it's, but again, there's like, it's not like there's, holes or anything. I bought some leather cleaner and conditioner so that I can do a little bit more than maybe just the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam would. So, cause you can see like, it's just kind of like dirty. So I don't, but orange Prada wallet. There is a pair of Burberry shoes. So there's the signature Burberry print. I didn't find a size on them, but I tried them on myself and I think they're probably a seven and a half. They do have significant wear at the toes and at the heels, um, but really they're nothing, they're not in awful condition, um, but depending on, like if they don't go for more than $50, then I will probably just keep these for myself. Next, we have this leather bag. It is like really thin. I don't, I, I feel like you could fit a piece of paper in it. <laughs> um, but it is Moschino. And it has, it says that on that toggle as well. Um, but it does have that fun swirling. There is a little bit of a boo-boo there. Um, but aside from that, the inside's in great condition. You can see that. So I think that this brand sells pretty well. What do you know? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's it does expand. 
like here's how wide the bottom is. So hopefully that will sell well for me. Um, this is another piece for Esme. <laughs> okay, here we have a dress, which is like kind of a, a peachy sort of color and has like this weird cutout towards the bottom. Um, it is, it looks like it has a Rent the Runway barcode on it. And it is Probel Corong, made in New York, uh, which again, I'm not familiar with. And I think that I looked it up and there weren't like a ton of pieces listed anywhere. Um, but you know, you can see it's fully lined. Let me see, is there a tag that tells me the fabric contents or size or anything? I think that might have been the problem. No, wait. I see one. It's a size four and 100% silk lining, 100% uh, polyester combo. So the outside is that polyester, but the inside is silk. So size four dress, I will not be modeling. <laughs> so that is five, right? Um, six is this Derek Lamb, again, New York like a tiny little sweater for a tiny little person. Um, again, I won't be modeling this. <laughs> and I think, I, I think there was no tag anywhere. Now, see, it looks like there was a tag there and it, it was cut out, but I would have to say like extra small, I guess I'll put measurements in. It feels like it's wool. It's shedding like it's wool, but it does have cute cuff. Um, sleeve, like three quarter sleeves, maybe. So I think that was the thing that I think that's the reason that I was having, um, a hard time providing more information is like, because these are designer brands, like there's just not a ton of stuff out there, but you're going to be shocked when I show you this. A long chomp purse. Just kidding. It's not shocking. I think you get these in every single box which, oh, hang on, which I can agree because I have a second long chomp bag. So this one is a little bit smaller than this one, but they all have the signature issues in the corners. Um, but we do have um, a long chomp store in King of Prussia, which is about an hour from me. And so I was looking on their website and I think that I could like potentially get these repaired. I'm thinking of taking a stop down there anyway, because I have that, how do you say it? Is it Hermes, like an Hermes bracelet <laughs> from one of my thread up jewelry boxes that needed help. And they have a store, they have one of those stores in that mall too. So I'm thinking that I might take both of these bags in and see what they have to say. Um, aside from the corner issue, they both are um, in pretty good condition otherwise. But yeah, this one has, like I see a couple holes. If I'm looking through it that way, if I had a big light there, you would see like right, right here. I don't know. So anyway. I'm not sure what the deal is with these bags, like why people love them so much when there is such a known issue with the corners constantly, but whatevs. Uh, next, we have a pair of beige block heel shoes with this strappy detail with like gold on the ends. And these are Aquazura which I'm not familiar with again, but they have this fun gold thing on the bottom. And I mean, they, they obviously have been worn. It says they're size 36, made in Italy, Vero Coyo. I can't even pronounce this stuff. Um, and then this one does have a big issue on the side of the heel. Um, this one does not have any significant issues, so I don't, I don't really know how well they'll do. 
I have this child size t-shirt with a palm tree. Very cute. It has like a tie detail down at the bottom. And this is by Chloe. It is, it says size 14. So I think this is a girl's. This is a girl's t-shirt. I don't know who's going to pay big bucks for that. <laughs> but okay. Next, we have this, again, like a wool feeling sweater and it is Acne Studios, which I looked up and they seem to have, um, you know, fair value and I don't see any issues with this. It is a size small and there's the, um, the tag. Come on, adjust. So it is made in China. It is 34% mohair, 34% wool, 27% nylon, 5% elastane. Okay, it's a very pretty color. Um, and what did I say? Did I say a size? Um, I don't know what that means. Oh, small, right? I said that. Maggie, what do you think of it? So yeah, like a little cow neck wool sweater. And not quite like Here, wait, I'm going to show you this first because this one puzzled me. It is Vivian Westwood, um, and it is her Anglomania line. And I believe it to be a skirt, um, but it's kind of like an asymmetrical skirt. This is almost like, a, oh yeah, it has a pocket on the one side, but it's just straight on the other side. And like, maybe I can share with you the funny uh, pictures that I had my daughter. I'm like, is this a dress or is it a skirt? I think we decided actually that it's a dress. And it does um, have this Velcro, which I know you're not allowed to see on eBay, um, strap to like cinch it up there. But again, then it comes out over here and has the pockets. So this was very interesting piece and last but really not least at all is a pair of jimmy choo sunglasses in the case which is in great condition and here are the glasses they are pretty fabulous i will say like they really feel like substantial high quality and they're like a blue green on top and like a champagne color on bottom. So I currently have these listed for 99 and I've been sending offers of 75, but nobody has bought them yet. So that's all right. So those are my 14 items. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily get this box again because they're definitely, I would have to say probably long tail items they you know aren't in fantastic condition it is a diy box so i acknowledge that that was to be expected but i have 240 dollars that i need to make up to break even and i'm hoping i can do that i just don't know how quickly so those are my two designer diy boxes from thread up tell me what you think do you think that i'm um being too hard on the box are these things going to sell quickly or which, which do you think is like the best item? Am I, because like I said, I don't know anything about most of these items. So thanks for being here and I will catch you next time.